Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this will be one of the quickest and simplest videos in our series. It's about power supplies. There's not a lot, lot going on here. Uh, there's four types of power supplies compatible with the DL380 Gen 10. That's gonna be your 500 watt, your 800 watt, your 1000 watt, and your 1600 watt. A couple keys that I like to point out. The 1600 watt is going to be 200 to 240 voltage, which is not a standard uh, connection that you are just going to have everywhere. So for instance, in a data center, it, certain racks won't even have that at all. And you might have to pay more to get that type of connection. So uh, just something I wanted to point out that you might order a 1600 watt and not realize that it is uh, potentially the wrong voltage for your setup at home. So just make sure you get the right voltage. The other thing I like to point out is you can't mix and match your power supplies. You can't grab a 1600 watt and a 500 watt, put them both in and think that's going to work. You need to have two identical power supplies that that are the exact same. That's about it. That's all the keys for power supplies. So uh, now what we're gonna do, we'll do a quick close up, show you the power supplies, and then we'll actually do an install, which again is super easy because it's a hot swap. Let's get going. All right, so we want to add a redundant power supply. So how do we do it? Match the one you already have. So that's gonna be the 800 watt. So we grab our 800 watt, not our 500, not our 1600. Pretty simple, right? So we're just gonna slide this in. And you'll notice when we push this in, this will just kind of click into place right here. So watch this. See how it kind of opens up right there. And then when I push it in, it clicks into place. If I try to pull it out right now, it's locked in there. So now if I wanted to remove it, you just push this right here and you pull it out. And that's how you would actually remove it. So you just, again, click it into place. That simple. So it's a very, very easy install, very, very easy upgrade. Uh, so hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. If you're looking for any custom built servers, HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudnews.com. That's sales at cloudnews.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.